guys, welcome back to your channel. This is Gina and today's video I will be showing you guys how I go from the dark hair to blonde hair and I'm going to do it in one easy step. So if you want to see how I do it, you just go ahead and keep on watching this video. So here I've already shown you a few items that you're going to need, including my wine. So make sure you got that uh, next to you somewhere. So you can take you a sip sip here and there. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to do... I'm going to make sure that we do step by step. You want to make sure that you do everything the way it should be done. Now, side note, I am not a cosmetologist. I am not a colorist. I just know how to do it for my hair. So if it works for me, I'm hoping it's going to work for you as well. If you're not comfortable and confident enough to do this, I suggest go ahead and pay the professionals to assist you and to do this for your hair. Because my hair is on the fine side, so I have to be extremely careful on this process. I have to stay away from relaxers because my hair will fall out. The first time I did this, I had to cut all of my hair off. And I'm not speaking of the first time before I went short. Years ago when I went blonde with bleach, it wrecked havoc on my hair. So I've just learned through the years what to do i listen to my hair i pay attention and so if you're going to go into this that's what you need to make sure you're aware of so i'm using just a little bit of that mixture of the bright white i'm using 50 developer i know most of the videos that you guys have seen they use 20 30 40 I use 50. This is what's going to give you that one step, one do process. You're not going to have to go back in. Matter of fact, I really didn't even really need to use the purple shampoo. I just used it anyway because I, I did have just a little bit of strands that had that brassiness to it. But we'll get to all of that later on in the video so right now our focus is just mixing this up correctly getting it to the correct consistency the consistency you want is like a whipping cream you don't want it drippy but you don't want it too stiff either so i'm going to show you the consistency i came up with which is here so you see it's still able to stay on top of that brush that's what you want. So right now it's just self-explanatory. I'm just gonna go in, protect my edges, put cocoa, coconut oil throughout my hair. This is a much needed step, at least for my hair. That way I am ensured that it's not going to over-process my hair. Again, I have very fine curly hair, so I want to make sure that I protect my texture at all costs and still get that platinum blonde color that I want. Yes, honey. <laughs> so right here, we just going to go through and uh, make sure that we saturate our hair throughout. The way that I do this, because I have short hair, is I start at the top first and then I'm just going to leave my edges, the perimeter of my head, for last.
All right, so we have just about every strand of hair covered. As you can see, the process is already taking place, so I'm not gonna need to leave this on very long. However, the secret to this too is make sure to keep it on for those full 30 minutes. Also, guys, make sure you do not manipulate your hair in any kind of way before you go in with this process, at least 24 hours prior to. So that means no washing, no scratching, no brushing vigorously of the hair, things like that, because you don't want to irritate your scalp because then you may not be able to withstand what you need to go through for those 30 minutes to get this process a one and done. All right, so right here, I'm just making sure I massage everything throughout and then I'm gonna place the shower cap on and wait. So we're back. I'm just taking a quick look to see the progress and it is coming along quite nicely, I may add. And here's the back of it. So right now, I'm gonna just go ahead and go upstairs and take a shower so I can get this out and move on to the next process, which is where I'm going to use the shimmer lights. And here are the results. Before we get there though, we got to do something with the skin. It's feeling a little tight. So we're going to just moisturize a little bit before we get to the reveal. Hope you guys are patient enough for that. <laughs> Right, guys here we go here's the reveal and this is what we are looking like since we have shampooed conditioned and also used our shimmer lights shampoo it pretty much took all of the brassiness away and what I do like to do is let the hair sit and rest you know how we do the steak and we let it rest I like to let my hair rest at least for one day. That way I can really tell the true color, the true outcome, if it's what I was looking for. And I have to say, this truly came out the way that I wanted it to. I did not have to go back in for a second process. This is how it came out and I'm thoroughly here for it. Now, side note, I will tell you that I did use the BW2 when I first went short to get the blonde. That process too was a one and done. I did the same thing that I did here, only I substituted the bright white for the BW2. The reason I didn't go back to that BW2 this time is because that's what caused my hair to fall out and had I had to go shorter. So if I can remember, I put a clip in of when I first did go short. That way you can see what I'm saying. I did love the shortcut though when I had to go shorter. Girl, I was feeling all type of sexy up in here. So <laughs> I am truly enjoying rocking this short do. And I hope that this video really, really helped you guys if you've been struggling, if you've been on the fence. If you do have the confidence to move forward with this process, let me know down in the comment section down below if you've already done it, if you're gonna go ahead and do it since now you know that there is a way that you could do this one and done and be absolutely platinum blonde if you want to go light all you got to do is just leave it on longer that's it all right guys i'm out of here again thank you for all your support and yes stay fancy